Hello. Um, yes. I spent my hacking days rendering pretty patterns um, in OCaml. Um, so I'm just going to go over less the technical details, but just how you can kind of get started rendering them. Um, so if you could go to the next slide, please. So you can start with a kind of root shape uh, on the left. Well, on both sides, it's a decagon. And then you can kind of reflect another shape around it if you want to, starting with one, and you can do however many you want. Here we have 10 pentagons around the decagon, which kind of, you know, there's a nice kind of alignment. And then if you can go to the next slide. What we had before was shapes sort of separated apart, which looked nice, but a lot of the interest of patterns comes from their inter comes from the intersections of the shapes. So here we have a starting pentagon. We have one decagon that is reflected um, outside of it, but it intersects with it. And if we go to the next slide, then we see what happens when we reflect that decagon 10 times around and you get something a lot more interesting. If you go to the next slide. What if we continue reflecting new shapes recursively? So within the decagon, we have 20 triangles reflected um, that are within the boundary of the shape. And if we then reflect this pattern around, uh, as we did before, going to the next slide, we get something that's quite a bit more interesting. And then if you go to the next slide, you can imagine this as a kind of tree structure where um, the first number is the number of sides of the shape. So we start with a pentagon five sides because it's the root shape. The next number tells us how many times we reflect it. We, we don't, so there's nothing there. Dependent on this is the decagon, which is reflected 10 times. And within the decagon, we have a triangle that's reflected 20 times. Um, there's also a lot more in, uh, information um, that's not included here, such as the size of the shapes, um, how far from the center of their parent they are, that sort of thing, the thickness of the lines. And then we could go to the next slide. Because this is a tree structure, we can have multiple shapes that are dependent on the same parent. So here we have the same pentagon decagon uh, pattern that we had before with the uh, uh, 10 uh, colon 10. But also dependent on the central pentagon are some triangles that uh, are sort of reflected around it as well, um, where there are three groupings of triangles. We have the one on the furthest outside. You can see how there is one particular grouping where each triangle is sort of a set um, angle apart. The grouping in the middle um, looks like it's just one grouping of 20, but in order to sort of get the particular angles right, you can tell that the, dis the angle between two triangles is slightly sort of different. And so I get that pattern by having two sets of 10 that are slightly offset from each other. And if you can go to the next slide. Here's another example. We can also choose not to render um, a shape. And instead, the parent is not a shape that we render, but a, a point that is still reflected. So we start with our root. Um, we don't draw a shape. Around this root in the center, we reflect 12 points. We don't draw anything on these points, but using these points as parents, we reflect hexagons, six of them around each of them, and we get something that looks like this. And then we can keep going. Uh, next slide, sorry. And here's another one um, where we have a root that we don't draw anything on. We have 10 decagons that we reflect around that. Around each of those, we reflect 10 more decagons. And around each of those, we reflect five decagons. And you can kind of essentially play around with these. And um, you sort of randomly run into things that look interesting. 
um, which is my sort of technique for generating these is I end up seeing lots of garbage and then I mess with the numbers enough and something nice pops out of it. The next slide, please. Um, this is also circles that are sort of reflected repeatedly outwards. And this uh, shows something that I'd like to improve, which is um, one, sorry, not infinite fractals, um, but the repeating patterns, because what is drawn currently is a single root node and it's a single pattern. But it would be very nice to have that pattern repeated uh, on and on and on. Um, because with this, what I had to do was I had to draw a circle, then add some children around it. There was still some space on the edges, so I added children to those, still some space on the edges, and you keep doing it until you fill up the square, but that's a lot of wasted space. Um, the specification is also done in code with records. Um, it would be nice to have some JSON input specification and to add some more customization, for example, different line widths for different shapes to have more finer detail. Um, and yeah, general customization. Uh, and that's all for me.